I'm Amy. I'm Wendell. And I'm Patrick. And this is Yes, But Why Podcast. Valerie, it's great to have you here. Yeah, thanks We're for having me. We're just going to get into it. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks for coming to Yes But Why. All right. We need more buttons here. We need all <laughs> kinds of fun <laughs> buttons. Even if I had one, just one big one <laughs> that was just a, like a reggae horn. <laughs> Wait, what's a reggae horn? Let's, let's start there. Uh, or like, you know... Um, <laughs> or like the, that, that air horn? Are kinda, you talking about yeah, that? Yeah, kind of like an air horn. A reggaeton yeah. horn? Yeah. No? Yes? No? Yeah, yeah. is that reggaeton? Reggaeton. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've heard it called a party horn uh, mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Or if I can just bring a, like a vuvuzela in here. I bet that's... It's, v- is yeah, it vuvuzela? Yeah, vuvuzela, I thought, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the big just plastic yeah. horn. Yeah. Do you think that you Coast Guard it? gets confused with all the party horns now? <laughs> you know, they, they're not sure where to go. You just see, like, a bunch of ships slam into, like, the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like there was trouble out here. Everybody cool? Everybody great? Everybody, no? All right. All right, we'll just mm-hmm. back this boat up <laughs> back to the ocean. <laughs> you ever been to the ocean? Uh, oh, dude. Uh, my mom... Okay, so my mom's, like, our number one listener to this podcast. And uh, she has listened to the Aaron Walther one, mm-hmm. like, a million times. <laughs> oh, really? And, uh, yeah. Why? And she loves you in it. Oh, boy. Yeah. She thinks what did you're I, great in it. What did I do in it? Uh, the lifeguard lifeguard stories? Oh, boy. We were just boy. talking about, like... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, And, like, we hate on the ocean a lot. I realize that, like... We like sometimes we'll start at the ocean and be like it's the most it's the worst place ever. Oh, I've been to the ocean three times this year. Which which one? The Atlantic. Oh, okay, yeah. okay is uh, which beach? Uh, three <laughs> different three different beaches. Oh okay. wow, really? Actually, I guess I was in the Gulf one time. Uh, so I was in Sarasota and Rhode Island and Montauk. Hmm. Right what, on. What were you doing there? Uh, two of them were for improv and okay. one was just vacation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That one's the best, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The vacation? Yeah. yeah. Ocean improv. Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, is that the Aquatic thing? improv? I like it. That you were not doing improv at the beach. No. Yeah. It's what? real hard to do. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Why? You, you speak from... You sound like there's experience here. <laughs> well, I mean, what... Try to uh, make beach prop work at least there's four different occasions. A lot of things are harder, I feel, at the beach, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's harder to walk. Yeah. Harder to the walk, sand. yeah. Yeah. You'd, you'd go to do a, a tap out and just uh, timing be wrong. Yeah. Timing be totally off. It seems like the only thing that's actually easier at the beach is volleyball, for whatever reason. Right? Is it? I thought they added the sand because it was harder. They added the sand? Yeah, they're like, nah, it's too easy for this. Uh, I, I like the idea that there was, no one ever thought about playing volleyball <laughs> at the beach, and then one day they were just like, we must make this harder. And they yeah. just brought some sand. And yeah. They don't you know, do like, any other sports. At the beach, though, like you don't have mm-hmm. sand basketball, nope. beach basketball, mm. or beach golf. There's nothing. Yeah, I can't soccer. think of a single thing. It's, I mean, beach and, golf. That would be the worst thing. <laughs> that would be like the that would be hell on earth. I think. Right. And, and surfing's over when you get to the beach. It's like, mm-hmm. oh well, that was fun, but now I got this stupid land thing again. <laughs> yeah. So. Beach polo. Wait, wait. With, with the horses or? Yeah. Yeah. Beach I mean, cricket. The horses will do fine. Yeah. I have all right. So there's a sport I know nothing about. Cricket, cricket, no idea. Yeah, no idea. I watched uh, back when I was living in Clemson. Uh, it was a pretty pretty large like uh, East Indian population in my uh, apartment complex, and I used mm-hmm. to play cricket out in the parking lot. Mm. And I swear to God, I just watched for an hour and feel like I knew less by the end of that hour. But that game went on is. for four days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cricket. Like that, that. That's what I hear on NPR. Anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. Cricket is like over a week. <laughs> so you were touring around doing improv stuff. Mm-hmm. Do you get to do a lot of touring around? Uh, yeah, a fair amount. Oh, wow. uh, with with my troupe, Pigraph, Parallelogramophonograph. We. <laughs> I'm glad you said Pigraph because every time I go to say it, I screw it up. Yeah, Pigraph so. is fine. <clears throat> okay, um, great. Yeah, we do we do quite a bit of traveling. We've we we do we try to do at least like one big international trip every year, and then oh. some other trips nationally. So this year we've gone to uh, Sarasota, Florida, and Rhode Island, and uh, we were in London and okay. Amsterdam. 
Okay. I thought if I thought for a second maybe you're counting Florida as a different country. Yeah, and no, it's like, no, no, that's that counts. It's yeah. a different country. Yeah. I mean, I guess if Texas is a different country, then all the states yeah. are other countries. <laughs> so, where where have you guys been all over? Like, what's the craziest? Um. You like uh, before <laughs> the Czech Republic was the Czech Republic. Yeah, like, right yeah, it's real crazy. Czechoslovakia. <laughs> we've uh, we've been to Australia. That's oh, probably yeah. the furthest we've been. Oh. Yeah, um, it's like the furthest you can go. <laughs> yeah, it basically well, it yeah. is. Um, and yeah, uh, been to France, been all over the UK, wow. trying to get more into Europe. Uh, make friends yes. there. So. Oh yeah, yeah. So there's an improv festival in Australia. Uh, somebody's taking a shower. That is exactly okay. what that noise is. There's a shower right outside shower right uh, the room, and the guy that like kind of runs this place lives here. So oh. if you want, we can cut to the webcam and just, uh, <laughs> it blurs everything out, but it's real fun. I kind of <laughs> wish he listened to music in there <laughs> or he sang. Just, yeah, 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 like just like Shania Twain coming out of the shower. Cause, like that's my shower music. In I my think. head, he's an old miner that constantly keeps his hat on, so it's real, it's real hard to shower in there. It just hits the hat and comes off. Just washing his hat, basically. <laughs> and the tip of his beard that pokes out on him. Yeah. Um, that, that's the one character I, I always want to pull in no matter where I can as an old miner. Oh, yeah? I love the old miner. Not enough people do old miners anymore. It's a dying art form. Old miner's kind of a, a, a contradiction when you think about mm. it. Old hey. miner. Right, you don't, you don't get the... Yeah, it's real dangerous work, right? No. Oh, it's also just the word miner. Oh, yeah. Spelled M O. I'm M I N O R. Yeah, I'm dumb. All right, let's rewind it. <laughs> I was just say, like, uh, I feel like you lean towards all kinds of characters that are bearded. Yeah. In the first, you like, you know what my favorite thing but, is? But only in the last six months. Lumberjacks, uh, <laughs> pirates. All right, this is now. This is a game of uh, how many bearded, how many professions bearded? are there? Um, mm-hmm. Bearded dragons. Um. Uh, Russian czar. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah no, I, I was going to say uh, Spartan king. Oh, yeah. Um, See, I'm already out. Uh, 19th so. century politician. Um, Wait, did they all have... Oh, man, this is where I want the internet. <laughs> <laughs> like, did I just learn yeah, something we don't that I have no here, idea so yeah. about? Um, Caveman. <laughs> Caveman, yeah, yeah. 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 Man. Bearded lady. I can't... Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. You know, yeah, I she's killing it over here. Yeah, she's killing it you were ready for this, weren't you? You, you <laughs> made a list somewhere. Beard prov. <laughs> also what we do in Australia. So yeah, so there was a, an improv festival in Australia? Um, or did you guys just show up and I start remember. doing goofies? Well, we went, to, we went to Brisbane first and taught our intensive there and did a show. Then we went down to... Um, uh, what's the name? Melbourne. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, we... Uh, yeah, I don't think there was a festival. We were just there doing so, teaching and performing. Oh, cool. That's cool. So, and like, I went to mm-hmm. Sydney, too. What's the scene like there as far as, like, performance comedy and stuff like that? It's really cool. It's And it's, like, kind of, you know, Australia is a huge country. Mm-hmm. Um, so each city has kind of its own thing going on. Um, Brisbane's got kind of a smaller, but, like, really, everybody's really into it, really excited there. Awesome. Um, Melbourne's um, a little bit bigger. It's kind of, they had kind of two things. They had um, Patty Styles and the work she's been doing there for a long, long time. And then a guy from somewhere in the U.S., Chicago or something, came over and started teaching more Chicago-style mm. improv. And uh, and then they've been kind of mixing together more in the past couple of years. Mm. So that's getting bigger and bigger. All I know is kind of Chicago style. Do, mm-hmm. do you know much about the other style? Yeah, um, I guess the other, the other that, one that style that that uh, people kind of refer to is Keith Johnstone inspired mm-hmm. with those roots, and he is a British. Uh, he was a director of scripted theater, and then started developing improv exercises okay. uh, to help his actors out, and then kind of. It became its own thing, and now he lives in Canada and teaches out of there. He's still alive, oh, well. <laughs> unlike Del Cliffs. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, he's and his work is um, uh, kind of lends itself more towards uh, long form, like theatrical okay. narrative stuff, um, but also has like a lot of short form at its heart. And yeah. Now, what style do you prefer? Do you do mainly Chicago stuff? Or? I do mostly long form narrative. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, narrative. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, and like the hideout is very John Stone influenced, but okay. also because all the teachers there have traveled a lot and we just kind of steal from everybody. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't, it's, all these guys just invented this stuff. They just made <laughs> it up and it's not like any of them found the golden plates of improv right. and has the real truth. It's just people with ideas and there's no reason not to change them or mix them or adapt them. Yeah. hundred percent agree with that. Yeah. I like I like I like the idea of stealing improv from people like they don't have it anymore after you take it, you know? <laughs> What happened to all our improvs? We're gonna have to cancel the show tonight. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Can't wait for the patent lawsuits to come out um, around their forms of comedy. Oh man, God, wouldn't it be terrible. great to be like the villain like in a kid's movie where you're just sucking up all the improv uh, and the kids can't the do it anymore. The Grinch who stole improv. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to write that down. Um, we're going to pitch that like next a, week. Like an improv tycoon. <laughs> you get on stage and you're like... <laughs> What's wrong with it? She can't think of anything new. <laughs> no, but... Oh, no. Yeah. Um. <laughs> no more make em ups Yeah. No more yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just all facts. All it's just, you're just stating yeah. like dictionary facts. I, I, it's weird for my brain to think about how this form of improv is so new. Like, it's... Uh, oh, no. That's not going anywhere. Oh, that's a thing it does? Okay. Um, it may be recording it. It may not be. Okay. I'm going to blame the oncoming eclipse on that. That's oh, man. Looking forward to that. Yeah. yeah. When, when is that? Monday. Monday. And it's it, funny because uh, people ask me at work if I could live stream it. Like, go up on top of the building and put a camera and just point it at the sun. We're only going to get, like, 50% coverage, right? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. not going to get full magnitude, as they say. But uh, I said, hell yeah, we can. And then I looked into it, and that's really bad for cameras, too, just like just it is your sun, eyes. Sun, yeah. So I got to go buy... It seems like the cheapest solution is welder's glass. Yep. Yeah, I go buy, like, number 14 welder's you glass. You can't just, like, take a piece of cardboard and poke a pinhole through it. See, I thought about that. Camera. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, and just pointing it at a piece of paper, you know? Um, I'm going to go see if I can find some welder's glass. If I can't, because I've already, like, because I got really excited about it, and I posted it, like, on all of the message boards that so my company uses it, yeah. to talk, you know, and yeah. they're all, like, excited, so now it's, like, shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm either gonna have to do I, like I'm gonna get welder's glass, or I'm just gonna see if no one notices that I just pointed at a piece of paper <laughs> through that just has like a cardboard slit playing through. I see. I was hoping that I could just use my welder's glasses I have at home, and they don't go; they go to thirteen. Ugh. So, uh, yeah, like I would blind myself staring at the sun. Yeah, it's so funny how like I, like I looked on every website, and they all were like welder's glass <laughs> number fourteen, not. 12. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's probably what you can get at, like, Harbor Freight, probably. Oh, yeah. So they're all like, don't do that. That'll, okay. That'll blind you. Yeah, there's, like, Alamo Welding Supplies is what I looked up, so I'm going to go... Like, one on top of the other. Probably. Yeah. Okay. I, was, yeah I, was, I was thinking that would Number work, right? Number 12 welding reducing glass. the amount of light, it would get... Yeah. And, yeah. and like, a pair of sunglasses <laughs> over that. That should be solid. <laughs> yeah. Sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses just, are, like, a one or two. Yeah, probably, yeah, exactly. So. We're just stacking them on multiples. Yeah. Like, <laughs> You're just holding up at that point just a solid object. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't understand why yeah, it's not playing through this rock as well as I thought it would. Uh, <laughs> I'm just worried about the werewolves. Right. So. Oh, like Daytime yeah. werewolves. Yeah. Yeah. Daytime werewolves. Yeah, no, it's yeah. A, but they're just going to run in that nice line across the U.S. Yeah. yeah. That's where they live now. It's a perfect it's idea. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I know. Actually, I, I'm pretty. There's got to have been. A movie about this already, right? Just like a rope. I mean, okay. So for for about three hours, it's just the country is terrified by like really fast, so right? Like, but but day the werewolves. eclipse of the sun doesn't mean that there's a full moon. But there is. But the but the, but the sun right. is in front, or the so, moon is in front of the oh, sun. Yeah, that's so. Okay, so I, it is a okay. Yeah, okay. I, I I'm always okay. I I love the like the idea of werewolves of just like we can see all of the moon now. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and that's what... That's oh, it. He's done. Yeah. Guy's done. Uh, so werewolves technically are powered by sunlight that is just bouncing off, off the moon. moon. Yeah. 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 So if it's an eclipse, then there's no sunlight bouncing off the moon. Right. So it's... Or just on the edge. Does it yeah. hit and then reflect but, off? But oh, yeah. What if they have to stay on the outside the circumference outside. <laughs> of the shadow that's going around? And they're just all, like, <laughs> holding hands and it's killing people? Here we go. Here we go. I like that the idea, too, is the werewolves... 
want to be out and around, and so they're, they're yeah. They probably hate it. It's yeah. probably torture. It's, it's probably real bad. Yeah, it's like real hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the you know you know. There are no werewolves in Texas. The whole nighttime thing really kind of worked.